Have you seen any of this uh, behind closed doors business that they've done no. now that the Premier League's back? Honestly, no, no, mate, no. it is the worst thing. It, I cannot watch it. <laughs> I, I, I watched it. I couldn't wait for the Premier League to get back. Watch it the first day. First match, I think, was, uh, was it Sheffield United versus Aston Villa, I think it was. And honestly, I was ashamed I was watching it. It was like watching a five-a-side game. You know, when you watch, because you need the audio, a five-a-side game, as you're approaching it, you can just hear people in the background, hey, Joe, hey, go, Joe, go, hey, Joe. <laughs> but you can't hear, you can't hear, walk on, walk on. That's what you need to hear in a football crowd. And also, people, 50,000 people, telling the ref what to do. Ref, just in case you've missed it, we saw it. Otherwise, 30,000 of us wouldn't be saying, oh, that was a foul! Isn't, it, isn't it striking how these games behind closed doors, there's a lot less arguing with the referee going on? There's but much good less. Point. Very good point. Very good point. The, the, the emotional tone of the thing is reduced massively by not having 40,000 people in there yelling at the referee. It would look a bit silly, won't it? It would look a bit silly if it's like one footballer yelling at the referee. <laughs> when it's 40,000 people, yes. you think, ref, mate, I'd rather not be in your shoes at the moment. An excellent argument for me for the, 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 to explain the difference between cinema and football. Cinema, it's the same film. doesn't matter if it's a full house or, or if there's only two people. It's, it's the same film. But in football, the presence of those people inside the stadium or the absence of those people inside the stadium changes what happens on the pitch.